Man, it's Loki Lockdown. I'll be back with another video today. Today, we got another matchup off of that UFC 291 card, man. We got Michelle Pereira versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Honestly, this probably won't be fight of the night, but this is going to be the second fight of the night, honestly. Because just because Justin Gaethje versus Dustin Poirier is definitely absolutely going to be fight of the night. But if there's a second coming close, it's going to be Michelle Pereira versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. This will be an absolute showmanship battle bro this is going to be all the way out they're just striking the whole time because these are two of the best strikers that i've seen work in a while and i'm going to break down exactly how i think this fight would go i'm going to break down the odds of each fighter who has the better advantage and where they're strong and where they're weak at why i feel like which fighter would win which exchanges and I'm going to go ahead and explain that right now. First, we got Michelle Pereira. He's very unorthodox, man. He uses the cage to his full advantage, jumping off the cage at head kicks from the cage and just use it. Bro, he uses the cage like a goddamn WWE match. He's going to fly off the cage and throw Superman punches and do backflips in the arena, bro. He is a true showman. And that's what he said that his entire training was about. The training was about entertainment. And boy, is he entertaining to watch. He did a backflip on top of somebody's goddamn body after he dropped them. And it's just like, bro, who, who does stuff like that? But it's amazing to see. One thing that I feel like would be a very big problem with this style that I'm saying right here. This style right there honestly requires a lot of energy. And will he expend his energy in a conservative fashion to where as though he's not gassed out by the time this fight Back. ends because this is going to be very high intensity he's fighting steven wonderboy thompson and steven wonderboy thompson is not going to sit there and just let him pick him apart this is going to be a very active fight honestly if you want to be very honest I mean, they're both very lanky they're both very long michelle Pereira has a, a ridiculous build for that size i mean he looks pretty huge for that goddamn weight class which will also add uh you know it adds some downside to his cardio when you're bigger you know it's harder to move around like that but look i see michelle Pereira. he's gonna be out there he's gonna do his best to be a showman he's gonna do his absolute best to perform excellent kicks excellent movement and i honestly don't see this fight going the full distance but at the same time it's definitely always a 50 50 chance it will but I don't see it going the full distance because of how intense I think it's going to be. Because, look, man, we got a karate master in Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Very unorthodox as well. Excellent side kicks. Excellent spinning heel back kicks. Man, look. He's a little bit smaller than uh, Michelle Piera, but that's besides the point, bro. Very fast. Very long body. Wide stance. The thing about his stance, it kills me. But at the same time, I guess it's been working for him. His hands are very low in his stance, which leaves him... Uh, especially when he ducks down on which name just to get left head kick to oblivion but nobody seems to be able to do it so I'm not going to say that that's a flaw because I've never seen anybody actually you know perform off of that shit and these guys are actual professional super professional fighters so the fact that nobody's really used that to their advantage you know maybe he has a bit better defense than I thought on that wide stance man he bends his head and what's the name bro he's moving around Excellent use of the octagon, excellent use of just like distance and management control. Both of them, both of them have excellent range, like range judgment. They're, they're able to judge when they're in range to throw those strikes and they're very long body, man. This is going to be an interesting fight. Very, very full matchup. It's a very skill-based matchup. Honestly, these two boys got that dog in them. This, man, look, bro. I just don't know how to explain uh, how I want to explain this. This could definitely be a fight of the night scenario, but I doubt it just because, you know, I said, like, like I said earlier, Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier are fighting. So, you know, it won't be fight of the night. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Look, I see Michelle Pierre gassing out, trying to perform overly exceptionally with, especially like with those cage moves and the back flips and the, spinning heel kick bro i feel like he might over gas but at the same time i feel like he's prepared for that but at the same time uh my boy wonder boy he has very wide stance leaves his legs open for a lot of kicks but he's also a karate master so he knows what he's doing in that regard uh great cardio on both of these guys but i've seen michelle Pereira gassed out before 
like a few times and I've seen Wonder Boy like you know barely gassed out but I've seen him on his lower end so with that being said man I'm gonna have to go with shit I want to say oh man damn I'm gonna have to say Stephen Wonder Boy Thompson but I'm also gonna say that I would favor Michelle Pierre to win this fight just because I want to see him win but Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is nice. I really want to see both of these young gentlemen win. Honestly, it wouldn't bother me if either one of them won. This is going to be an amazing fight regardless. It's going to be what we see. That's going to be what we paid to see, honestly. It's going to be what we paid to see. It's going to be very, very high intensity. Two strikers. He got. It's a dream matchup for both of them. So with that being said, man, we out. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Like, comment, subscribe. And, you know, we out, gang.